Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Belmont Park here on opening day. It is Friday, April the 27th, 2018. Going to look at the fifth race from Belmont, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for full card selections from Belmont. And also join me next weekend for the Kentucky Derby and Kentucky Oaks preview here on YouTube. Those previews should be up by next Thursday, hopefully. Uh, maybe even Wednesday if I have time next week. But um, today's opening day from Belmont, and uh, one of my favorite, probably my favorite meet in North America is the Belmont Spring Summer Meeting. Um, you know, you always have some great racing. You'll see, uh, you know, some excellent turf races, and you'll see some excellent horses running. So, uh, you know, this is my time of year, really. Um, it's also the, the weather gets really good now. Um, but with the weather, talking about the weather for a second, we're going to be expecting some rain today at Belmont. So I handicapped this race, the fifth race from Belmont, as it being a wet race course. So just keep that in mind. Um, but um, let's get on to it. We're going to look at race number five, the feature on opening day from Belmont. The fifth race, it's the seventh running of the affirmed success stakes. Purse $100,000. It's for four-year-olds and upwards. New York State and approved by New York State Red Registry here. Field of six horses going the distance of ground of 1,200 meters or six furlongs on Big Sandy, the Belmont main track. Six furlongs, 1,200 meters. I show the diagram. Just gives me a second to look down at my notes. You just bear with me. My top pick in this race, I like the number one horse, Weekend Hideaway. I'm going to go 1625 in the Superfecta. 1625 Super. Top pick number one, Weekend Hideaway. Eight to five here. Luis Saez is on this one. Luis Saez coming off a career meeting at Goldstream this winter. Um, you know, he's written, he's the regular rider for this horse, basically. Um, Weekend Hideaway, who actually ran in this race the last four four or five runnings of this one since since at least 2014 he's running this race which is quite nice um i don't i believe he's never won this race but he's been close uh, i believe in 2016 last year not so much but um he, he likes belmont and he loves wet going which you'll see today but his most recent outing came on the 31st of march at goldstream seven furlongs of optional 62 claimer this horse finished third by six lengths that day and never really got into it um you know first start off a layup i think he might have needed the race before the 21st of October at Belmont here, six and a half furlongs in the Hudson, he finished six by three and three quarter lengths. Again, didn't have the best of starts and just kind of weakened out of it from the rail. Uh, and then a good going here at Belmont, six furlongs in the grade one Vosberg. Grade one Vosberg, two over match for this horse that day. He finished fifth by 11 and three quarter lengths. It just was a little bit wide, never was into it from that wide post draw. Like I said, he ran this race the last few runnings. Uh, last year, he finished fourth by three quarters length from an outside post draw. It was very wide, and he just really couldn't keep up with them. But today, with an inside post draw on a wet track, I think he should run a very good run. Um, his his last victory came here in the commentator last May on, on Sloppy going one, going one Mile. He won by nose on lead all throughout. Very nice victory. Um, I like him a lot here today. He's a single for me in the multi-race, so watch out. So to recap my bets for today's fifth race from Belmont, it's the seventh running of the third affirmed success stakes. Going to go with the one horse weekend hideaway gonna go one six two five in the superfecta so good luck to all and please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good